Awesome. Good morning. This is Pastor Alan Baggett, and this is today's Victory Church and our daily word of encouragement. So I just want to speak into your lives this morning. It's a beautiful day. Uh, today, it looks like uh, spring is trying to get here, and that's a good thing. So we're going to encourage that on. Hopefully, we don't have a blackberry winter come in. If you're up from the north, you don't know what a blackberry winter is. If you're from Tennessee, you are very familiar with a blackberry winter. So we're gonna we're just gonna pray that it keeps on going good. Amen. The weather keeps getting better. Hey, Miss Afton, good to see you. Sheila, good to see you this morning. Uh, today is is an amazing, beautiful day. I encourage you to get outside. Uh, let the sun hit your skin. Soak up some good. Uh, covid fighting vitamin d that comes and all comes natural don't have to come from a pill comes natural from the sun let that uh come down into your <clears throat> coming on your body and just uh, flood you it'll make you feel better it'll make you feel better so i just encourage you to do that because it is most certainly a beautiful beautiful day i want to encourage you today with a, a simple scripture a simple word today psalms chapter 63 verse 8 psalm 63 verse 8 if you're watching, uh, as you're watching this, I encourage you to uh, uh, hit an emotion, uh, hit a heart or something like that. And uh, the more hearts you hit, it changes our algorithm a little bit. It gets things get uh, uh, bumped up and put out more. <clears throat> so if you can just help me with that, that'd be wonderful. And you can't put too many of them, so uh, that will help out immensely. And also tag this and share this uh, short word today with other people, and that'll be great. Of course, it'll be on YouTube later on. But uh, I just encourage you to do that so more people get it out. Thank you, guys. I see a lot of hearts coming up. Y'all guys are great. Psalm 63, verse 8. Psalm 63, verse 8. I cling to you. Your strong right hand holds me securely. Simple passage, but profound passage. I cling to you. I cling to you. And this is talking about us clinging to our Heavenly Father. I cling to you, and your right hand holds me securely. I'm bringing this, I, I've got this passage today because I just want to encourage you and bring something into your, speak something into your spirit to never let go of your faith. Never let go of your faith and your confidence in your Heavenly Father. Don't let go of it. I'm telling you, man, things come into your life, and sometimes it seems that you're praying over things and, and, and you just don't see the hand of God moving the way you want it to move. You don't see things going the way you want to see them go, and, and, and you get frustrated in your spirit, and anger rises up, and frustration rises up, and all those things begin to take place, and they begin to put all kinds of seeds of bad things inside of you. I'm just, I want to encourage you, don't let go of your faith. Don't let go of your faith or your confidence in your Lord. Live a life. Live a life that requires you to hang on to God with all of your strength. Well, Pastor Allen, how do I do something like that? The way you do that is you do what you can't do. You go beyond what your abilities are. You, uh, if God speaks to your heart to do something, go out and do it. If God opens a door, He'll provide a way. And live your life in such a way that you, you, you need the hand of God. You require the hand of God to hold you. You require His presence in your life. It's easy just to sit back. It's easy just to close your door and, and, and put, turn the lights out and just crawl back under the covers and just sit there and, and melt away in your anxiety and your depression and whatever else is going on in your life, the drama, whatever's going on in your life. But I'm telling you, live your life. Get up out of that bed. Get up out of that dark room. Get up out of that anxiety. Get up out of that depression. Get up out of that drama. Get up out of that situation. And, and, and move out and put yourself out there. So and, and allow God. Allow God. Allow God to come in. Allow God to give you strength. Allow God to grab a hold of you. Allow God to hold you securely. Live a life that requires you to hang on with God, to God with all your strength. He is the strength of your life. He is, and you've heard, I know this is almost cliche, but He is the strength of your life and He is the anchor of your soul. And He will hold you tight and never let you fall or utterly be shaken completely to the ground. I know there are things that we have to go through in life. 
There are things that we go through in life that we don't understand, but 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 uh, we don't understand it. But God has preparation, and He's making preparation for our life for things that are going to happen later on down the road. We don't understand right now, but He sees way beyond the right now. So no matter what situation you find you're in, no matter what you're doing right now, step out, live your life, live your life in such a way that you need to hang on. You need to cling to God. You need to hang on. You need to tie a knot in that rope at the end of that rope and grab a hold and just hang on for dear life. Live a life. Step out. Don't be afraid. Let God be that strength in your life today. Let Him be that anchor in your soul today. I promise you, if you will yield to the Holy Spirit, if you'll yield to the Holy Spirit, He will hold you tight and never let you fall. He'll hold you tight and He'll keep you. He'll hold you tight and, and, and He will comfort you. So I encourage you today, don't let go of your faith. Don't let go of your faith. I talk to so many who are just on the edge of letting go. Don't let go of your faith and your confidence in God. What is hope? We talked about it yesterday. What is hope? It is a confident expectation. A confident expectation. There is hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in Jesus Christ. You can have strength today, and you can have hope for tomorrow. You can have victory today, and you can have hope for tomorrow. The name of our church is Today's Victory Church, and it comes from that very saying right there. There's victory for today, and there's hope for tomorrow. A confident expectation that God is going to perform what God said He's going to perform. He is your strength. He's going to hold you up with His right hand. So as you go forward today, lay your burdens down. Lay your dramas down. Lay all that stuff down at the cross. Lift your head up high and let His presence Hallelujah. Let his presence begin to flood into your heart and your spirit. And watch that anxious spirit begin to lift off. Begin to let him, his presence begin to speak into you. Let his presence begin to heal you. Let his presence begin to strengthen you. Even this morning. I'm saying that and I'm just closing my eyes and I'm sitting here going, and I'm just kind of just taking, in, taking it in because I can feel the presence of the Lord even right now when I say it. And uh, I can feel strength rising up in my spirit, my heart, even right now while I'm saying that to you, I can feel it coming up. So I encourage you to do that today. Let him be the strength. Don't let go of your faith. Don't lo lose your confidence. Don't lose that, 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 uh, that confident expectation you have, that, that hope that you have in our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and he'll give you strength. He will be your strength and he'll be your anchor. And he'll hold you so tight and he'll never let you go. Amen. That's the only way you can get away from the Lord is if you just struggle and kick and scream and you pull yourself away. Because He's not going to let go of you. He loves you. He cares for you. And He wants to be with you even today. <clears throat> so as you go through the day, hey, take that moment, lift your hand, let that strength infuse you. Don't let go of your faith. Have your confidence in the Lord. Say, Father, I cling to you. I cling to you, and I know that your strong right hand is going to hold me securely today. I step out of my comfort zones today. I step out of my stuff, my dramas, and everything else I'm going through today. And I step out of my mental anguishes, my work, everything else is just going crazy around me. I just step out of it right now, and I let you be the strength of my life. I let you, I let you be the strength. I let you be the anchor. And I know that you're going to hold me. I cling to you. And watch how your day goes. I don't care uh, if, if everything goes wrong for the entire day. You're going to have peace and joy in your spirit because you have a confident expectation, a hope. And you have a Heavenly Father that's holding you up with His secure, strong right hand. All you got to do is cling to Him. He'll hold you tight and never let you go. Amen? Hallelujah. It's a, conf it's a good word today. Take that word uh, today. Apply it to your life Apply to some of the simple principles we talked about right now to your life today and watch what God will do today. Watch what kind of day that you're going to end up having today. Amen. God is so good. I'm going to pray with you really quick. But before I do, please remember, and we'll have this up uh, uh, on YouTube just in a few minutes. So if you have a YouTube channel, you can go there and you can share it that way. Uh, I'll have it up on, I'll have the Facebook 
uh, link to the YouTube up just in a few minutes too. I encourage you to share that one also. We need to get the word out. There's only one way the word gets out is that the people who are watching this right now take it upon themselves to share this with as many people as they can. In fact, I, I encourage whoever, if you're on replay right now or you just watch pieces, hey, listen, I, I encourage you to share this with 100 people. That's a challenge. Share it with 100 people today. And let's see what happens and how it encourages their life. It's not about points and it's not about likes and it's not about uh, uh, people signing on. It's about speaking into people's lives and hearts. And that's what we're here for. Let me pray for you. God, I thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy. Father, we cling to you. Hallelujah. We cling to you. We cling to you. And, and we know that your strong right hand will hold us up. Father, we confess right now we will not let go of our faith. Father, we confess right now that we have confidence in you. We have a confident expectation, our hope for tomorrow. We have a confident expectation, Father, of what you're going to do and accomplish in our lives, in our situation, in our society, Father, in our nation, in the nations of the world. We have a confident expectation. And, Father, we know you're our strength. We know that you're our anchor. And we know that you're holding us tight. So, Father, just today give us the strength and discernment to lay everything down and to pick up your presence and let it rest upon us today and let us walk with joy and peace and clarity of mind and spirit and we speak it forth now in the name of our lord jesus christ amen and amen well, god bless you guys i hope that encourages you please do exactly what i, I, I ask you to do uh Find 100 people you can share this with. I mean, you might not be able to do it on Facebook. If you'll wait for the, the, the link, that'll be up in about less than 30 minutes. That'll be up, and I'll post it on my Facebook page there. If you'll take that link, you can just send that link. That link to uh, anyway on Messenger. You can send it on your messages, your texting. You can send it all kinds of ways. Let's try to reach, let's try to reach 100 people today. 100 people outside of what we used to reach. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll be back in the morning with another word of encouragement.